Okay guys, so for this recipe we are going to need 40 grams of cocoa butter and cocoa butter derives from the cocoa beans is super hydrating so it allows the moisture to be retained in the skin um, also we are going to need 40 grams of shea butter so shea butter is ideal for cosmetic and this is because it has anti-inflammatory and healing properties and it leaves the skin really soft and it also helps tonify the skin so it's really good for this purpose we are also going to use aloe vera gel so aloe vera gel is super hydrating which is why we're going to use it in this recipe because for the skin who has stretch marks we need a lot of hydration and that's the reason we are going to use also the next ingredient which is vitamin E so we're going to need some vitamin E and also we are going to use avocado oil and avocado oil also is super hydrating so that's why we're going to use it so and also we are going to use essential oils so what we're going to do is we're going to put the cocoa butter and the shea butter in a bowl and then we're going to melt it you can use the microwave to melt it or you can put it on, on top of a bowl with water whatever you do just be careful to watch it and then we are going to add our um, avocado oil to this and going to mix it and we are also going to add the vitamin E oil and then what I did I added 10 drops of lavender lavender essential oil and that's because lavender has regenerative properties so it's super good for this recipe and then I added 10 drops of frankincense essential oil and that's the same reason it has rejuvenative properties and it helps minimize wrinkles and fine lines and also I added 10 drops of mandarin and this helps tonify and also it helps with stretch marks so if you want to use just one essential oil mandarin is the one to use so then with um, a hand blender I added half of the aloe vera gel and I just started mixing if you don't have a hand blender you can use a mixer a hand mixer I, I like the blender because it gives me that creamy consistency that I want so you just mix it and then I added the other half of the aloe vera gel and mixed everything together and basically that's it you then you just put it in a um, jar and recommend you not to use a transparent jar to use one that is either brown or blue and that's because we used essential oil so we don't want to use a transparent one because it will make the essential oils evaporate uh, but that's it um, i use this cream every day it's really efficient it does an amazing job so i hope that you um, will try it if you like this video and this recipe please don't forget to give it a thumbs up also if you haven't done so already please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on new videos and i'll see you in the next one bye